Robs, we were just talking about Austin Matthews and a little bit of struggles with the team recently. Um, you were a guy that were expe- was expected to score some goals and and to be a big part of a team. Uh, when you struggled or went through pockets in your career where it just wasn't going your way, what was something that you focused on and what, what would be your advice to these young players, a guy like Austin Matthews, William Nylander, who are, haven't been finding the back of the net consistently? Yeah, I would say, uh, you know, the biggest thing for me that I did as a player that I really thought helped me was I wrote a couple of things down that I would just kind of review before I went to the rink for game time. You know, for me as a winger, um, I knew I had to be good along the wall. I knew I had to be a good four checker and uh, really focus on playing good in my own end. And the nights that I went out there and focused at being a, a good player in my own end and being responsible, I ended up getting more offensive chances. And, you know, I know it's, that sounds pretty simple, but it, that's what it needs to be. It needs to get back to being, okay, what, what, am, I, what am I doing uh, and, and how am I going to solve the problem? And I, and I would say simplify their games. Like, like Jeff, I think, had mentioned, you know, they're all skilled. Everybody's skilled that plays in the National Hockey League nowadays. But unfortunately, when it's not going in the net, you can't be a liability defensively. And I used to always say to myself, okay, you're not feeling good tonight. Keep it simple. Be good, be good along the wall. Make sure you get the puck to Sundin. My job was to get Sundin the puck. And uh, whoever I was playing with, uh, I felt like that was my job, to be a good first four checker and be good along the walls. And, and we would uh, come out of any slump that we were in. Roy, it was, I'm not going to say smooth sailing, but did you ever feel like the pressure was cranked up on you here in Toronto where it didn't go well for a stretch of games and it was a little bit different. I know you played in Calgary, then went to Carolina, but when you, did you ever play here where it's like, okay, what the hell is Gary Roberts doing out there? Yeah, I mean, no one likes to read bad press, right? Like, and, Well, we all say we don't read it, but we do. Yeah, we all read it. How can you avoid it nowadays? You really can't. And I'll, I'll be honest, part of me enjoyed uh, reading it and seeing it because I think it kept me on my toes. Uh, but when things aren't going well, that could work in reverse for you, right? You feel so much pressure to perform and, and play well. And it, no, like, I just don't think people understand the magnitude of it if they didn't play for the Toronto Maple Leafs. You know what I mean? Like, you can, you know, there's, there's, there's pressure all over the National Hockey League. I get it. There's social media in every city. But being a Toronto Maple Leaf and struggling... Uh, for as long as, as a guy like Nylander has uh, out coming out of coming back, he's got to be feeling it. And, and I feel bad for him. I met him at the alumni game a couple years ago. I played with his dad. Um, he seems like a great kid. Uh, unfortunately, I think uh, in his case, his camp kind of misunderstood the pressures and, and what he was going to have to go through when he came back to play this late in the season.